What's going on YouTube? Jake here with Uncommon EDC and today I'm checking out the Alpaca Gear Utility Pouch. If you've watched the channel before you may know that I recently became an Alpaca Gear Ambassador. So I am sponsored by them. However, I bought this pouch prior to that deal kind of falling into place. And so this was a pre-order that I ordered maybe a month ago. I think it had gotten delayed actually. So it just shipped out. I just received this this pouch all and it's currently sold out on the website but you can do a pre-order for the second round which they're estimating will ship around june 14th so of 2022 so if you're watching this video before then you're interested in this pouch definitely get in on that pre-order i believe you're probably getting a little bit cheaper pricing i think i paid 35 dollars for this but second round of pre-orders is 40 dollars. so it is kind of creeping up in price and that was kind of to be expected. I think the original MSRP that have it listed at is $49. So it may go up again after that second round of pre-orders. It may not, I'm not sure. But also they typically do limited edition colorways. And so I've had in the past the hub pouch, which was a really cool pouch from them that I checked out in black. And then this colorway came out in this kind of blaze orange, super bright, super cool. Haven't reviewed this colorway because it's the same thing as the other one, just really like the design, so bought this one too, or the color, I guess. And so they do come out in these limited edition colors from time to time, so if you don't like the black one, that's all that's available right now. I would assume that if this does well for them, it will be no exception, and there's going to be plenty of other colorways out there. And then the other EDC pouch that they have in their lineup right now, there's three total, is the zipper pouch. And uh, this is a really cool one. I haven't reviewed this on the channel yet, but I will at some point. There's currently a blood red version that is available as a limited edition of this one. If you're interested in this one, uh, definitely check that out as well. But again, they do a lot of limited edition colors, including both the colors you saw here, as well as, again, blood red. They have like an arctic white. I've seen some green ones. So if you're not interested in black, if you're patient, I'm sure they'll come out in other colors. But on to the past pouch that we have on the table. This is the black X-Pack VX42 material on the exterior. And X-Pack, if you're not familiar with it, is a super lightweight material that was originally made for sailcloth. So it's waterproof, UV resistant, and pretty durable for, for its weight for sure. It's going to be tear, puncture, and abrasion resistant. Not proof. I wouldn't go cutting it to test it. It will cut, but it's relatively durable and it's not gonna just from randomly beating up against stuff or scratching up against walls and stuff like that it's not going to tear through the fabric at least not for a very long time the pouch itself on the exterior measures at 7.87 inches wide 4.72 inches tall and about 1.77 inches deep although that your mileage is going to vary on the depth depending on how you pack it out mine's relatively loosely packed it's not super stuffed and so it's not super thick but if you do stuff it you're gonna need a little bit thicker and there's a room for it to expand as you can see there's some folds here that aren't fully being utilized but again I'd prefer not to pack them out as much as possible but sometimes you just kind of have a lot of stuff that you need to carry and that happens but if I can avoid it I'll tend to avoid that the zippers on here in the main compartment you have these ykk reverse coil zippers and they have their own zipper pulls on here so it's not the typical ykk zipper pull but they are ykk zippers you can cut those off if you really want to and replace them although i do like their zipper pulls quite a bit they actually sell some pretty cool ones that uh, if you watch the hub pouch video you'll see them they're these nano tools so there's a pen and blade and a phone stand that fit in a tiny zipper pull form factor so they have some pretty cool ones out there but i do like the zipper pulls that they use on their bags so again that main compartment's this reverse coil but the outer exterior pockets are both the ykk aqua guard so those are going to be waterproof zippers making the entire thing fairly water resistant it's not completely because there's going to be gaps in the corners and where the zipper meet, for example, there's always going to be small gaps. So you're not going to want to submerge this, or if you do submerge it, you're going to want to grab it and pull it out right away. But it is going to be pretty much weatherproof. You can take this out in a storm and not worry about your gear getting wet. But I like to stuff these out for my pouch reviews. If you've watched any of them in the past, you know, I like to stuff them with gear just to give you a sense of how much you can fit in there, and if you're familiar with the items, what size items fit in these pouches. So on the main front pocket, 
Oh, actually, one more thing, I'm sorry, before we get into that, is on the back there's these kind of loops here, and they come with an included strap that you can just thread into those loops and use this as a sling bag. If you are going to use it for a sling bag, though, they sell a pro strap, which I think is 18 bucks. It's a little bit thicker and more durable and a little bit nicer. So if you're going to use it, it might be worth it. I don't plan on using it for a sling bag. Typically, I just throw these in a backpack or a messenger bag. So not super necessary for me, but if you are going to utilize it in that way, it may be worth it to get the pro strap. And I'll, I'll put a link to that as well down in the description just in, in case you are interested in that. But in the front here, I have only a couple things. You're going to want to put flatter items. It's not a super deep pocket. There's room to expand. Again, you can fit some thicker than what I have, but I wouldn't go too, too thick in that pocket. But up front is the Gondek EDC. I believe this is the mini executive, I want to say. And I actually flame anodized this one just because I've been flame anodizing everything titanium I have just as I get into it. So... They come in just kind of a standard silvery titanium material, but pretty easy to flame anodize if you're interested in doing that. I'm sure there's tutorials out there. I'm not an expert on it, so I'm not going to make a tutorial, but they're out there if you want to do that. But just a nice little pry bar, as well as a lock picking kit. I don't remember the name of this one, but I'll link down to, in the description below for this. But just a nice locking pick, uh, lock pick set. One of my favorites that I have. I have a few kind of cheaper ones. This is one of the nicer ones that I have. Still not super expensive though. And I'm not, by no means an expert on lock picking, but into it, I've been practicing and getting better at it and think it's a good skill to have just in general. Just be careful about local laws and whether or not you're allowed to carry lock picks if you do want to put lock picks in there. And then on the back, and before I get into that pocket, there's this one other strap, which I'm not sure if this is the intended purpose, but it works really well for just holding the pouch, which gives you another option to carry this if you don't want to throw it in a bag or if you're just taking it somewhere quickly. It can work as kind of like a clutch type bag, which is cool. Um, I may utilize that a little bit more than the actual attachable strap, just as I'm pulling it out of my bag. And again, maybe I'm taking it from my office to the conference room or from my house to the car and just want to carry it a few feet then that's definitely a good option probably wouldn't carry it again all day like that but it is available and in the back here i just have this cranky hank i don't know what it's called i guess a patch board with some random patches on here i'll link in the description to their igs uh, most of these patches are a limited edition run so these exact ones probably aren't available but I'll link to the makers so you can check those out. This doesn't really serve any purpose whatsoever just a cool way to carry patches and since this doesn't have a loop panel at least as it comes it just seemed like a nice way to carry some range rise. You can always sew a loop panel on the back here would be a really nice spot for it but not super handy with sewing either so I have not done that. And so that's it on the exterior of the pouch. You have this nice alpaca kind of plasticky, similar material to these zippers. I don't know what that material is, but a really durable kind of flexible plastic. And then it opens kind of clamshell style. So I'll go ahead and zip that open and it opens fully, which is really nice. And so a couple different organizational pockets here zip that up a little more. A couple of different organization pockets here which give you a lot of really nice options. Along the back here is just kind of an open free pocket that goes the full length. The only thing I actually have back there is a hanky from Everyday Hank. This is obviously their donut pattern but you can definitely fit some other stuff there. The log and jotter which I have on this side would also fit over there if you wanted to go that route. So again, uh, just a pocket notebook. This is a log and jotter, one of the older ones. Don't know if it has a date in here. It doesn't look like this one actually even has a date. Oh, June 2018. So one of the older log and jotters. And one of the really popular designs. This is a double-sided design, which is really cool. But again, if you wanted to, you could put that over here instead, and that works just as well. And you can definitely put both of those. I was, again, trying to avoid getting too thick in terms of how I loaded it out just because I don't want it protruding and putting a lot of unneeded stress on the zippers, but you can definitely fit more than I have in here. And then there's a pen loop here, which also works as kind of a wire loop. If you want to put like a iPhone charger or Android charger or something like that in here, that definitely would work for that as well. And there's another loop in here for a pen. 
it's really hard to show on camera, but there is a loop sewn on the inside here where you can put a pen. So if you don't want to use this section for a pen and would like to put something else there, that's definitely an option. This is just the Sharpie stainless steel pen. Uh, pretty cheap, readily available, so good little EDC pen. And then in these front two pockets, I have a Olight Warrior Mini. Really good little flashlight and a decent size. So these are not small flashlights and it fits in here with plenty of room to spare. In fact, you could put something next to that still with, again, room to spare. Next up is the Spyderco Shaman, which again is a pretty good size knife. Not a small knife by any means. And it fits, again, with room to spare. You could definitely fit a multi-tool in here, pretty full-size multi-tool. If you have questions about certain models, I have a lot of different Leathermans and even some of the Victorinox multi-tools, so I can test those out if I have the specific model. And usually, even if I don't, I have a comparable sized model, so I can test it out. But this is a pretty good size pouch, so most of those multi-tools are gonna fit. And even some of the bigger ones fit in the smaller hub pouch, so have no worries about fitting a multi-tool in here. And again, I don't think it's really going to show well on camera, but there is a small loop here. Yeah, not showing super well. Loop there for the pen, so again, if you want it, you can use it. If not, that's fine too. And then in this pocket, there's kind of a high-vis blood orange ripstop nylon material that makes it a little bit higher vis. That's in the back as well, so in this back compartment on the outside, but not in the front for whatever reason. Not sure why they went that route, but I do like that interior just high vis material so that you, if you have small items in there, you can locate them a little bit easier. So a little bit strange that they didn't use it in that front pouch, but that's okay. And then this zipper pouch here looks like there's pockets on the outside. These are not actually on the exterior. They're only, it's dividing the interior of this zippered pouch. So the zipper pouch does not go the full length of the pouch, it's divided into three pretty even compartments. The middle one might be a little bit bigger, or that might just be my eyes playing tricks on me, I'm not sure. But I'll show you what I have in there. And again, this is kind of that same zipper as on the main compartment rather than the AquaGuard version, it's just the reverse coil. So on the left pocket, I have a Leatherman Micra. This is not filling that pocket up at all. You can definitely fit something else in there with it but popular multi-tool a lot of people will be familiar with and that fits really well in one of those pockets. In the middle compartment, I have the Workerman glider collaboration on this Womp. I think the Womp itself is a Workerman design, but the colorways is the glider kind of colorway. They helped customize it. And I think this one's actually still available. It's on the glider website, not Workerman they found kind of some extra stock and restocked it and some of the colorways are sold out and some of them are still available but this is a really cool one just kind of pocket jewelry slash knuckle slash fidgety pocket trash i don't know whatever you want to call it but just kind of a fun little thing and then in the last compartment and i intentionally put this in the top compartment to avoid the section where the Olight and the Shaman were sitting. That way, because this is the most bulky item I have in there, it keeps the pouch from just getting too thick. Wouldn't make a huge difference either way, but just saved you know a millimeter or so of extra space by putting it in the top pocket. So that was definitely a strategic choice. And this is the Dessert Warrior Zippo from Blade HQ. Just picked this up on their National Donut Day sale a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago. And so, yeah, that fits in there well. Standard size Zippo, nothing special about this one outside of the design. And it fits really, really well in any of those three pockets. Again, I placed it in the top pocket to avoid just kind of smashing up against the others, but it will fit in any of them. And that's everything I have loaded out in here. It definitely could fit a little bit more. But again, I was trying to be cognizant of how thick the pack ultimately ended up being. But I really like this pouch quite a bit. It's a little bit bigger than both of the other pouches that they've done in the past and a really good size kind of compared to a lot of pouches that I check out. Obviously Maxpedition has some bigger pouches, but a lot of the other pouches out there, like the Brotac one that I just reviewed, I still have here on the table, is going to be a lot smaller. Uh, I think I mentioned this Tough Possum gear pouch recently in a different video. I don't remember which one. This is maybe four by six. 
so kind of large index card size, but a lot of them are going to be a little bit smaller than what this pouch is, and so I think this is a really nice size, and I guess the other, the other extreme is like this recycled firefighter pouch, which I think is 12 by 7 and huge, so a little bit in between there, and I think this is a really, really good size. Not going to fit in a pocket like maybe this one you might be able to shove in your back pocket if you really wanted to, and this one especially will really fit in a back or front pocket pretty well as long as you're not stuffing it too tightly. And so it's not going to fit in a pocket, but I think it's a really, really good pouch for throwing in a bag and definitely going to be one that I use quite a bit because I always have multiple pouches in my bag, some for electronics, some for EDC gear, and sometimes for random things that I'm not even thinking about. It might be like a one day loadout that I'm just using for something if I want to take multiple knives somewhere or know that I'm going to be working on something and I want to take tools with me. This is a kind of a good size pouch for that. So really cool pouch. Excited that they're expanding their EDC pouch lineup. I hope they continue to do so because they're really making some high quality pouches that are pretty unique. They don't necessarily look at what other pouch companies are doing and so the designs tend to be pretty unique like that zipper pocket which maybe isn't ideal for carrying larger items like you can't use it for pens and that sort of thing like stationary that you might use it for but it does give you different options having different shapes and designs of pouches and so super excited to see this in their lineup again let me know what you think down in the comments below of this particular pouch or any of the alpaca gear pouches that you might be interested in seeing again there's only three of the edc pouches but they have a lot of bags and things like that so if you are interested in seeing that type of stuff let me know i actually have a bag as well as the hub panel hub mod panel coming out for review in the next couple weeks and so Definitely, I'm going to expand into that territory as I kind of explore different products from Alpaca Gear. But one of my favorite companies as far as pouches go, so definitely check them out. And again, I have a coupon code down in the description that's going to save you 15% and get me some referral commission. So win-win there and definitely helps bring more content to the channel. But be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.